The Return to Freddy's 3 came out very shortly after the release of the second game. With only about a month of development time, meaning it took Tyler Alstrom four times more development time to work on the second game than did the third. And as much as I'd like to praise the game, there's a lot I feel could have been improved upon if there was more care put into it. Before we hop into the Return to Freddy's 3, I think it'd be fun to share a teaser game called the Return to Freddy's Secret Revealer, where you input a number code revealing random images of the new upcoming title. Kind of neat. Starting to return to Freddy's 3, you get a dedication screen, which totally aged well, and then BOOM! The menu screen. And staring right back at us, Mr. Hamburger Head himself, Lockjaw. This being his first introduction to the series. Technically, he was shown in the Return to Freddy's 2 as a hallucination, making that his first appearance in the game. But this game makes him more fierce, so... Official. <laughs> Official. I'm not sure if this still holds true, but for a while, I remember Lockjaw transcending the game almost. He became an incredibly popular character for FNAF fan games at the time. Which makes me kind of sad he hasn't seen an official appearance from Tyler in the past 8 years. And probably won't be seeing one in the near future, because all traces of Tyler's socials are gone. Except, looking at what Tyler does now, I found he owns a game studio, and is making a game that suspiciously shares the same abbreviation as The Return to Freddy's. Which also has an incredibly unsettling trailer to go along with it. I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get in to the nut. Immediately getting into the game, there is a glaring issue. This office gets my official worst office I've ever seen stamp of approval. Because holy sh**, what is going on? Oh, that's disorienting. What the hell? Why is the office like this? Oh my god, that makes me want to throw up. Who are you? This office had me so confused while playing. So is there just a wall here? Why can't I just look all the way around? Why do I have to look the entire other way? Like, I don't I don't know what I'm doing or how this works. Like, this office is so confusing. It's a circle, but... But, like, it's not. For the record, I'm just letting you guys know now, the best way to understand what happens in terms of gameplay is to not question anything. Turning made me pretty nauseous while playing this, but thankfully sitting still looking at this hallway right here is all you need to do throughout the game, which makes it more of a bizarre design choice to make the office look like this. My eyes! Much like night one from FNAF, nothing happens here. And the phone guy is also extremely useless at explaining what to do. Speaking of phone guy, there's two of them this time named Wilson and Chun, and they kind of break my immersion. All they talk about is opening up the restaurant you're guarding for the amusement and entertainment of little kids. But there's nothing in this place. No tables, no chairs, there's not even a sew stage for the animatronics. So, who are they opening this place up for? Who the hell would get excited to show off a bunch of dingy animatronics in a liminal space? After each night, there's a mini game similar to FNAF 3, where you play as Shadow Lockjaw waking up the animatronics from the second Return to Freddy's game. Except, you never wake up, Doug. Rest in peace, my friend. Night 2 walks up and slaps you in the face. Since nothing happened in Night 1, they decided it was a good idea to add a slow difficulty curve by only activating Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, Foxy, Kitty, Fazcat, and Lockjaw. The f*** dude. Since everyone but Vigo is active, I might as well do a quick character intermission. Bonnie tries to get through your office at this entrance here. You stop it by closing the doors on the cameras. However, these doors malfunction incredibly fast, making it a very flimsy defense. Freddy, Kitty, Fazcat, and Lockjaw all share this mechanic. Except, Lockjaw is a little different, and I'll go into that later. Foxy, Chica, and Vigo appear at the large hallway opposite to the other entrance. To repel them, you need to access your maintenance panel and select Corrupt Signal. Alright, now back to Lockjaw. What the hell is this character? He's supposed to be the spring trap of this game, if it wasn't obvious enough. And to repel him, you have to shut the doors around the map to stop him from getting into your office. But bro just disappears sometimes. And this is completely by design too forcing you to utilize a tab in the maintenance panel called View Animatronic, which shows what Lockjaw sees. Cool concept, except there's a couple of issues. For one, this was never explained in the game, so I never used it while playing. Second, how the hell are you supposed to figure out where he's at in the building if there aren't any landmarks available to figure out where he is? Since he's basically untraceable, he'll get into your office one way or another, 
And the way this is indicated is showing him running past your monitor with a pretty cool effect. Freddy's still just hanging out. Oh! However, you aren't dead yet. In fact, if you never look around the office, he won't kill you. And if you're not looking at the large hallway, you're dead anyway. So, cool character. Speaking of issues with animatronics, we go. Sometimes you'll appear in the hallway without actually appearing in the hallway, making him impossible to counter unless you follow him on the cameras, which isn't always guaranteed to work because two animatronics can't be on the same camera at the same time. There he is, snake dude, and he's gone. Snake, snake moved, snake moving, snake here, snake on the floor, snake, snake gone. No more snake. S snake, snake kill me. <laughs> but sometimes Vigo shows mercy and won't actually kill you, so thank you, Vigo. Oh, I forgave, forgot about the lights. Okay, Virgo gave me mercy. And since we're on the topic of buggy messes, for some reason, my YouTube analytics say 99.9% .9 of you aren't subscribed, which has to be a bug, right? Right? To help me fix this bug, it'd be a big help if you'd subscribe to the channel. Oh, and also the maintenance panels are a mess. For some reason, after repairing the lights, doors, or repelling an animatronic, there's a random amount of time it takes to finish repairing, which can be really, really bad if it decides to take 10 seconds repairing a door if an animatronic is still trying to get in. And with how quick the animatronics begin moving in later nights, the waiting will kill you. Luckily, if you're fast enough, you can actually tap out of the maintenance monitor, allowing you to close the doors and repel the animatronics in proper amount of time. So we're doing this again, huh? Once reaching night five and completing it, which yes, is actually possible in this game, <coughs> return to Freddy's 2, <coughs> the mini game changes from waking up animatronics to persuading a child to accidentally kill himself with your presence. Very cool. Now I'm not one to judge people putting horrific child death in a video game, but seriously, what is this? Also, it gets worse somehow. But don't worry, this kid's name is BFP, meaning it's a self insert from Tyre Ulstrom, since that was his username at the time which makes this even more weird. Once you enter night six, you get one of the funniest line deliveries from a phone call. Yeah. Why am I here then? If they're destroying the place, why am I guarding it? And other than that, nothing too special happens either. All in all, the gameplay for the Return to Freddy's 3 isn't that hard at all. And if it wasn't for the maintenance panel bug, this game would have been extremely boring. The pacing is just way too slow for me. That is kind of nullified in the 2020 or fun time fright mode, which you get after beating Night 6, but that's only because Vigo is a jerk. Oh yeah, speaking of which, much like in FNAF 3, if you don't do a series of easter eggs, you get the bad ending of the game. However, Tyler so graciously gave us all the mini games required to get the good ending in the extras menu. Some of these mini games have multiple ways to complete them, similar to FNAF 3. You'll know if you completed the mini game right if you see a new plushie on the overly shiny desk I forgot existed. Each mini game tells some sort of story about the kid that got spring locked in Lockjaw, but I'm not really sure what it is. There's also this green guy, which as of writing this, I only know is his name is Gron because of the wiki, and boy, what a name that is. <laughs> and although I said all the mini games were in the extras, there is but one which you get by flickering the night five tab on the menu till it says I am him instead of night five. And I clicked on it at the wrong time resulting in all my progress resetting on the menu. Oh no! Great. So I grinded back to three stars again, got all the mini games completed, beat night six again. Oh no, don't go in there. Don't go in there, no. Oh. And got the bad ending? What? Quap. And I lost my three stars again. For the love of God! Please. 10 out of 10 game. And it easily earns the badass seal of approval. After playing the Return to Freddy's 3, I can tell why this game series created such a following. It's basically just normal FNAF, but slightly worse and different. And it gave people something to play and pay attention to. Well, people waited for the actual FNAF games to be developed. And let me tell you, people were starving for FNAF content up till Sifter location. Couldn't escape FNAF for a very long time.
it's still can't really either. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate the few of you that got to see the end of this video. Subscribe to stick around for the return to Freddy's 4, and until then, I'll see you in my next video. You'll know if you got the right exit if you see a new plushie on the overly shiny an overly shiny desk I forgot existed. You'll know if you got the right exit if you see a new plushie on the overly You'll know